Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh, it's lifting it! Oh no! Uh oh, oh, uh oh. Okay, come on, push through it. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, it is at time once again. It is Sinking Tuesday, and today we are in for a treat because we have probably one of the most awesome ships I've seen in a while. Now, this ship is called, I believe it's actually called the City of Callus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I probably am not. Now, this is actually similar to a ship we checked out a long time ago, but it's kind of been revamped. It's got several survival features, and overall, it looks absolutely amazing. So definitely be sure to check this thing out in the description if you want to download this awesome ship. So today is going to be a little bit different here as far as the sinking. Now, normally on Sinking Tuesdays, I avoid tsunamis. I normally just allow it to either uh, flood with big waves, maybe brush against an island or something, but today is going to be different. Today, we are actually going to use a tsunami because there's been an update to them. Now, tsunamis and Stormworks, uh, they've always been pretty cool, but they are also a, a little disappointing because you used to sink through the tsunami with basically any ship. And that is no longer the case. So now, supposedly, the tsunamis will actually pick the ships up and you'll fly over them. They'll probably topple you over a little easier. And overall, I think it's going to be pretty fun to try it out with this particular ship since it is so big. So we will probably play with some more tsunamis in the future as far as maybe trying to jump them and surf them. But today, we're going to use it for the sink. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Alrighty, here she is. Now, you're going to have to bear with me for just a moment because of the lag. But this thing has reason to lag. This thing's absolutely incredible. There are four lifeboats on it. Uh, you can see two of them on the deck. But this ship also does have those life pods that shoot out the side. Uh, pretty cool little survival measures here, but let's go ahead. We're gonna climb up in the tower here Get up to the bridge and let's try to get this thing fired up and moving All right, so we're up at the bridge here now. It looks like the only way in and out of the bridge is a ladder That concerns me a little bit because ladders can be damaged and yeah, sometimes random things damage and storm works all right, so it looks like we have generators and Possibly the other engines. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get these cranked. Actually. Let's go start pump all right, will that crank up now? Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and throttle up. Oh, I can't throttle up on that yet. Hold on. I have really no clue what I'm doing. I should probably read the instructions. I always like to try to start these things up by myself first to see if I can. Uh, a lot of times I can't, but we're going to see what happens here. All right, so we're pushing all these throttle levers up. Uh, something's happening here. All right, there we go. All right, I think she's running now. I think we're good to go. So start electrical engines. Go ahead and start that. Oh, oh, she's moving. Okay, that was actually a really easy startup for a advanced ship. So you really just click the uh, the top turn keys, uh, push the throttle levers up. You also have to have on the left side, there's a breaker uh, that opens the pumps. I'm assuming the fuel pumps. Uh, and that's really, I think it. Oh yeah, and you have to hit the little switch over here for the electrical motor. Now, as far as the alarm, I don't know what the alarm's for. I probably need to read up on that. It could have been... Actually, I think it was detecting the dock is what it was. So, alarms are gone now. Ah, oh, this thing gets so much better once you get out to sea. But look at this. This is absolutely glorious. Like, that is a awesome looking ship. Now, if you want to see where the lifeboats are, they're up in the front here. Or I should say about the middle of the ship. Uh, you've got two lifeboats. They look fully functional, engines and everything. And then if you look here towards the rear of the ship where it says buoy, uh, you can come into the inside. And I want to say these are the same. You know, you really can't see them. We're going to have to go down there. I, I really do want to say these are the same uh, lifeboats that were on the uh, other ship that we checked out probably a couple weeks ago where we hit an island. All right, so we are cruising. Now, I saw a button over here that says open security. Is this the alarm? Uh... Red alert. Oh, I guess this is uh, like a mayday, so we probably don't want to hit that. All right, so what do we have here? Toggle valve. I'm pretty sure this is the tanks, which, by the way, if you didn't figure this out by now, uh, this is a tanker ship. So I'm assuming these are the valves 
uh, for the tanker, which it is actually empty. I think sometimes people spawn these things full, uh, but it is currently empty, so this ship is ready to go. I guess if we were to want to go maybe pick up some crude oil and go sell it somewheres. Now over on this side, it looks like potentially we might have... These could be dead keypads. Actually, this is a weather station. Crosswind, rain, fog. Okay. All right, so over here, here's your readouts. There's batteries for about everything. Why is the engine battery dying? Uh, it's a bit concerning. So the battery's really high up on everything but the engine. Did I did I miss something here? Electrical engines are up. Uh, let's see. All of this is running, right? Uh, these are the generators. Uh, this all looks good, but we're losing engine battery pretty rapidly. We're at .39. Let's go see if we can find an engine room. Potentially there's a, another battery there. I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did, huh? Let's go down. Oh, I don't want to fall down and die. Which, by the way, of course, it's survival, so I have that on. Uh, let's see. These look to be cabins. Okay, here's your, like, emergency room. Keep that in mind. Showers. Okay, that leads out onto the deck. I don't know if you can get to the engine room on this, now that I think of it. Uh, that potentially could be an issue. Actually, what's this down here? Uh, this could be, like, the maintenance. Uh, let's see. Door. Uh, ah, no, no, this is like a crew quarters. What the heck? Oh, this is where you get to the life pods, by the way. All right. Uh, is that a painting? What the? <laughs> okay, that's a painting. Uh, let's see. Green. Okay, these are bedrooms down here. So this is all crew quarters. Is this uh, another bedroom? Oh, this is a medical bay. Well, at least we're going on a tour as we look for maybe a spare area. What is this? Uh, this appears to be like a like a rec room or something. I feel like we're in a bit of a race against time. I'm assuming these are... Okay, hold on. This might get us down to the engine. Uh, is there something down here I need to click? Oh, look at this. Oh, this is actually really cool. This is the inside. Yeah, these are all the tanks. You would actually be able to see these things being filled. Hold on. What's this up here? Uh, open refuel valve. You know what? Let's just open these valves for... Uh, for no reasons on secondary generator room here we go all right so we got some generators up here let's go ahead and start these up real quick uh let's go ahead and start these i don't know what these power exactly uh these could just be backups let's go ahead and get these fired up each side there we go all right those are up okay generators are up those don't have an extreme amount of fuel in them this is actually really neat i like the exit sign so you know exactly where you need to go uh, here's engine room one, so let's go ahead and climb down here real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and switch on the light here. Uh, this just looks at... Okay, this you can get your engine status down here, but there is... Uh, looks like nothing to actually hit. Uh, they're flashing a little bit. You know, I don't think I remember seeing these percentage signs on here. So you can see the fuel and everything. Alright, well, we haven't died yet, so something I guess is okay right now. Ah, uh, look at this. Is this a... Yeah, here's a fluid connector here. So I'm assuming this is how you pump into the tanks. Uh, over here, you've got a little gun just in case you run into uh, pirates. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the lifeboats. So these have their own little circuit breaker. Connect magnet, winch up and down. So these things are basically ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and check up here. What's this little breaker box? Uh, yeah, it's exactly that. It's a breaker box, but everything's on. Man, this is awesome! I really like this ship a lot. What is this up here? Uh, swivel, connect, wait, what is this? Oh, this is for fires. Okay, so you can uh, connect this circuit breaker. And yeah, if you get a fire either aboard or I guess if you're gonna help somebody else out, uh, you can do that. All right, I think we've pretty much checked out most of the ship. There's a midsection we haven't checked out. Uh, I read a little bit about it. I didn't see anybody say anything about the alarm. I need to check it again just to make sure, but I'm really curious as to what that alarm is. All right, so the middle section here, this looks to be the uh, the kitchen and all of that. Hold on, we got a light. There we go. Yeah, you got like a little buffet. Uh, what does some of this look like? Uh, some of these meats look maybe a little questionable, but nonetheless, uh, very cool attention to detail here. All right, let's get back up into the bridge. Alright, so it looks like we have a little bit of cause uh, for concern here. The buoy, the door here, 
I don't know why it's seated like that, but it looks like it might have glitched out and it's glitched into the side of the ship. Uh, I don't know if that thing's going to launch, so if we use the pod, we might want to use the, uh, the right side pod because, yeah, there's a good chance we'll hop in there and it'll bounce against it and nothing will happen. Alright, so I think it's about that time. Fantastic ship, fully functional, but this is Sinking Tuesday, so we got some things to test out here. Now, like I was saying, the tsunamis, you will no longer sink into them. You will go over them, so it opens up a whole big possibility of using big ships like this and hitting them and seeing what happens. I, I really don't know. I have not tested this at all. So I'm really curious as to what's going to actually occur here. All right, so we're going to fight some little waves here. I'm pretty sure the ship can take it, and I have spawned in the tsunami. I do not know what direction it's coming from. Oh, behind us. Uh, should we turn? You know, eventually I want to do an episode where we get like speed boats, jet boats, and hit it and use it as a ramp. But today, we're going to hit it with the cargo ship. And yeah, we're going to turn right into it here. Oh man, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. Uh, we're going to try to hit this forward and see if we can make it actually over this one. Uh, I'm really curious as to how this works. I mean, it was so bad, like even the small ships used to sink at stuff like this. But oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we're not going to be sinking into the tsunami, I don't think. I think we're about to lift. Here it comes. Here it comes. That is a wall of water, okay? Oh, look at that. Uh oh. Oh, it's lifting it. Oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, come on. Push through it. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm so glad they updated this. Look at that. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, look at the lifeboats. Oh, we did it. Holy man, we've got to hit that with a speedboat or a jet boat. That is a natural ramp. Like, we would fly. We'd probably take off. Okay, so we know this ship can take a direct hit uh, from the tsunami. But if this thing were to get hit maybe on the side or something, I'm pretty sure we would have... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? I. What does that mean? What is... Oh, no, we're not... No, not this again. Oh, we got the death roll going. Okay, well, we're uh, for sure going to break open the ship now. Uh, okay, we do have damage. I don't know what just happened. Well, apparently our problem's gone now because the lifeboats... I, I think it's something to do with... Uh, somebody was telling me it's the winches. Yeah, we just death rolled and got rid of our lifeboats. Please tell me the pods are okay. Okay, pods look to be okay. We do have damage, though. All right, well, I guess we might be doing a normal sink. We'll probably get hit by another tsunami, but uh, we need to go check the engine rooms here because uh, that didn't feel too good. Okay, engine room two is good to go. Engines look okay. Uh, it's a miracle they survived this really, really abrupt <laughs> tumble. Uh, question is, what would have happened if we had a full load of actual uh, liquid aboard? That could have been bad. All right, so I don't see a leak here. Now, we do have a big gap below this. So if there's water getting into that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see it until the last moment. That's actually kind of scary. Uh-oh. You Look at that. Lifeboat over here is damaged. Okay, so we have one means of survival, and it's this boat over here. That is not a good feeling. You know, it would have been nice if our uh, other boats wouldn't have been flung off the ship. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, so I think it's probably a good time to go ahead. We're going to activate the security. Let's go and open this. Alarm's on. Red alert. What is that? Were we already in red alert, or what did that do exactly? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Maybe maybe Coast Guard AI is going to fly out to us. You know, that could be a cool thing for AI. Say if there was an AI Coast Guard station. Say if you actually get in trouble out here, maybe they'd fly a helicopter out to you. I don't know if that can be a thing yet, but that would be awesome. All right, I think we need to go ahead. We need to face another tsunami because I want to ride another one of those again. That was fun. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, it's doing it again. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Why are we doing the roll again? There's a tsunami on the way. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, what's that noise? Uh, we broke something, folks. 
Uh, okay. Oh, I'm pushed. Wait, where's the tsunami at? No, 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 no. Wait, where'd it go? Wait, did we? We didn't already get hit, did? We? Oh no. Oh no, it's coming. Uh oh. No, no, no. We death roll. We were aiming towards it. Hold on, jump in a seat. Jump in a seat. Uh, wait. Where did the lifeboat go? Are you kidding me? The lifeboat shot out the side. Okay, so uh, the flipping of the tsunami apparently... Wait, no, we weren't in a tsunami that time. It's just now coming. Oh, no, there is smoke pouring out of this thing. Uh, we just got to hope we can survive this hit. I was hoping to use a pod this time. No, that's actually left a hole in the side of the ship. There is water getting through. Oh, that's insane. Where did the pod actually go? I don't even see it. We probably flung it like a couple football fields. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna not be fun. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do this one from the first person. Hold on. Uh, we're getting hit by it. We're not gonna sink into the wave though. That's the problem. Actually, I need to be in the pilot seat here. I don't even know if it even works. Are we even running anymore? Wait, are we getting pushed? Hold on, hop down. Uh oh. Uh oh, get into this one. <gasps> Oh, there it is. Okay, this tsunami's kind of swallowed us. Oh, oh, no, it hadn't. No, it hadn't. Hold on. What is going? Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going over. Oh, no. No, we got a big hole in the side. Wait, how do we survive this portion of it? I don't have any words to go. What is happening here? Uh, well, that destruction noise, we're upside down. I don't think we're... Uh-oh, I don't think we're flipping back over. Oh, no. That's going to be water coming in. Uh-oh. Come on, flip. Flip back over. Uh, wait. How would we climb out of this? On. Well, oh, man. That's making a racket. Okay, we got to go for this thing sinks. Uh, can I bust out one of the windows here? These don't open, do they? Okay, hold on. We're going to have to grab the ladder upside down to try to get... To the, oh, this is crazy. This is like the Poseidon Adventure. I don't think we've had one actually stick like this. Come on, let's go. Come on, grab the ladder. All right, so we are actually climbing up. Please tell me the doors still work. All right, there we go. No, 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 no. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Wait, what's going on? Are we flipping? Wait, are we? No, we're not. Okay, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, get off the side. I can't. These stupid ladders. There's something weird about Stormworks ladders now. I always have issues with them. Okay. If I open that, it floods. Where would the pods have been? Hold on. Let's go shower room. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Uh oh. I saw water. No, 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 no. Where do we go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, do I want to use the. No, I'm not using the diving equipment. I would say uh, I'd use it, but the ship had uh, some sort of equipment on it beforehand, so we're not going to use it. I'd like to know where to get to. Man, where were those at? Were they fur they were further down, weren't they? How would we get to the pods from here? I don't know. I'm so turned around. Oh, let's check. We're not really sinking. I think this thing has some air in it, and it should be okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Three, two, one, boom. All right, open this. Oh, come on, come on. I need to go. I need to go. Okay, we gotta hold the door. All right, come on. All right, there we go. Oh, and swim. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. Oh, and come up the side. Come up the side. Boom. Oh, man. So once that tsunami hit us in that one direction, it capsized us, and we actually stayed capsized. I haven't seen that much. Uh, normally, the ship finds a way to flip over. I know they've changed some ways the, uh, the ship works, so possibly capsizing is now a thing and staying capsized it's very rare we would actually stay that way we'd normally flip back over oh i bet you she's taking on water yeah those pod doors being open the way they are i really thought we were probably out of luck there when it flipped over but no we are uh we're good all right you know what uh i think we're gonna get it hit one more time i'd like to launch one of those pods all right, so we have reset again. The alarm is not going off this time, which is uh, kind of has me curious as to why that alarm was going off in the first place. Uh, a little weird, but anyways, we are moving. Everything seems to be good to go. Now, the last one, we got out. I mean, we uh, actually were able to escape it. We escaped that before the capsizing, which 
Uh, since it was upside down, I think it would have held up somewhat, but it did have a slow leak from the right side and the left side because of those doors being open. So I do think it eventually would have sank. But of course, we were able to get out of there uh, pretty easy. Now, one thing I did question last time was how to get to the pods. The only way to get to them is actually either if you're down in the engine rooms to go to the back of the ship, or if you're out on deck, which would have been useless to us uh, because there's those two bottom doors. You have to go into those to get to those particular pods. Which, yeah, uh, obviously we just had to get out the door and just come off the side of the ship. So we're going to try to do this one more time, and I want to utilize the pods. Uh, even if we get upside down, we will open those doors and try to get to one and launch one. Because I think those things are absolutely incredible. Uh, just hopefully we don't do an alligator death roll this time. Alright, so I think this time we're actually going to take a full-on side hit. We took a front hit. Obviously, the ship does great. Gets right over it. It's intense. Like, I want to do that in multiplayer. Be standing out on the deck as that thing rides over that tsunami. Uh, that could be excellent. And then we took a back hit, which by that time the ship was already a little damaged. But I think for the most part it held pretty good. Except for the whole fact the ship decided to tip, but that was, uh, I think, more of a glitch uh, than a ship thing. So, let's go ahead and go, boom. Uh, let's override all this and spawn that tsunami in. Think it's going to come from either that right side or maybe the left side here. Oh, there she is. She's moving fast. Uh-oh. Wait. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's get down by the pods. On. Uh, drop through here. Uh, this is what I mean. You have to go out on deck to get down to this next section. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, look at it. You know, do they change the speeds on these? Because that one looks like it's moving fast. All right, come on. Let's get in here. Okay, we want to climb down. Uh, let's use... Dang it! <laughs> I can't navigate a door today. Right, get down into here. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the pod. Okay, we are in the pod. We are ready to deploy. So I just have to hit that button. All right, we're going to take the hit first. Oh, no. You know, what if we were to deploy midway? Would it, like, pop us out and go out the side? That'd be kind of fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there goes the base. Oh, no. So, we're going to ride up this, but are we going to tumble down or are we going to make it over on the other side? Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, here it comes. Oh, the speed of it. We need to create a surfing device and we can just surf the tsunami. Uh-oh. I think that's what we're about to do. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to get over the top of it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, capsizing. Okay, no damage yet. Are we going to stay? Oh, no, we're falling down it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, uh, do we deploy? Uh-oh. Okay, look at that. It's actually trying to caps. No, it's coming back. It's coming back. Is it going to stay up? No. No. I actually kind of like that. I like that it does that now. So, capsizing is a very big fear again. Okay, uh, we need to deploy. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Wait, what? Wait, there's a lot of buttons. Okay, here we go. Bloop. <laughs> we deployed out the side. Oh, look at it flipped itself back over. That's perfect. Yeah, the ship didn't freak out that time. It didn't actually do the death roll, and we were able to deploy the, the buoy. The buoy system. This is so cool. So, yeah, it shot right out the side. Even though we deployed upside down, it tipped itself right back over. So, indeed, if you are in a capsizing ship and you have the buoy system, use it. Uh, you will get out. You will survive. Man, that is cool. That is really, really cool. We need to uh, do some more multiplayer with the buoy system. Like, I'd like to have a ship that maybe me, Spy, and OB can actually escape out the side with. Uh, that would be incredible. But yeah, I really do love these changes they made. Uh, it's actually going to add probably a new dynamic to Sinking Tuesday. Uh, because even in the high waves, you know, we've tipped over before, but it's always tipped back. I do think that this has changed a little bit. And we have the potential to do what you're seeing on screen right now. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Sinking Tuesday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Do go check out the, uh, the creation. Go give the creator some love. Absolutely amazing ship. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy to be back in the ship portion. I know like the past three episodes have been basically all about trains, but gotta go back and give them ships some love. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.